Hey guys, I'm going to show you um, a couple of really easy exercises that you can do at home. Um, I'm doing ones that don't particularly need any equipment. Uh, you can use everyday household items for these. We're going to focus on our glutes and lower body today, so I hope you enjoy. Grab your handy dandy dishcloth and fold it into a square and place it on the floor. We're going to start with our right foot. Place your toe on the floor, slide it all the way back, drive that back knee down. Make sure that you are putting the weight on your heel, squeezing your glute and hamstring as you come up. We're going to do 10 on each leg. And time to do the other side. Make sure you squeeze those glutes on the way up, pressing down on that heel, gliding that toe back. Also remember to keep your tummy tight Make sure that you are driving your belly button to spine, working on core stability with this exercise. Now we are gonna work on our inner thigh while we use the cloth to slide our foot to the outside. Make sure when you are squatting down on that one leg that you are sitting back on your heel. Do not lean forward on your toes. We're doing 10 on each side. Now we're gonna work on a little bit of our quads. Again, whenever you are squatting down on the one leg, make sure that you are sitting back on your heel. I think it's important to mention that everyone's fitness level is going to be different. You may find yourself feeling very sore or exhausted at different repetitions. Do as many as you can. Next we have our adductors. You're going to stand on your right leg and lift your left leg to the side. going to hold and pulse two three four five six seven eight nine ten time to do the other side make sure you're sitting back on those heels knees are slightly bent and lift your leg to the side You're gonna feel that booty burn. Keep at it. Get set and hold. Pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we are gonna do three different lunges starting with the forward lunge. Back together, side, together, and back. Good. Front, side, and back.
last one, side, back. And now it's time to do the other side. Now we're gonna work on our hamstrings. You're gonna place your hand on the stationary leg, drive the opposite leg back, and as you reach towards your toe, you're gonna lift that opposite leg up. Focus on squeezing the glute and hamstring as you come up. This is a very good balancing act as you can see. Make sure to keep your core tight, belly button tucked, to spine. If you find this move difficult, you can place your foot onto the ground like so and reach forward, squeezing the hamstring and the glute as you come up. We're going to do the other side. We can't have lopsided booties. And remember that modification. If lifting your leg is too difficult, just place the foot behind you onto the ground and reach towards your toe concentrating on the contraction of your glute and hamstrings. Next, we are going to do some leg lifts. I brought the chair just for stability purposes. You're gonna stand up straight and lift your right leg straight backwards, leading with your heel, squeezing the glute on the way up. We're gonna do 20 on each side. Next, we're gonna do a standing donkey kick. You're gonna lead with your heel and press back, focusing on the contraction of your glute and hamstring. You're gonna go all the way to 15, and then we are going to hold and pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now it's time for the other side. Lead with your heel, press back, and focus on your glute and hamstring. And when you get to 15, we're gonna hold and pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And a few more just because I lost count. <laughs> 
And next we're going to use our chair for step ups. Make sure your foot is safely planted, squeezing your glute and hamstring on the way up. Time to do the other side. Next, we're going to do a split squat. You're going to place one foot on the chair, driving your bent knee down to the floor, making sure your weight is being put on your heel, on your stationary leg. switch sides, driving that back knee down to the floor, weight on that heel. I also want to suggest too that if using the chair is too difficult, you can do a standard split lunge with your foot on the floor. Next we're going to do some floor work. I grabbed a towel just to rest my shoulder blades on. We're going to start with single leg hip thrusts. Using your right leg, you're going to press up and drive your hips to the ceiling. Make sure that you keep your tummy tight, belly button to spine. You can also cross your hands against your chest. I don't want you using your hands on the floor for support. When you stretch your other leg out, make sure you're keeping it down towards the ground. When you lift your leg up, it makes it just a little bit easier. So we want to make sure that you are challenged with this move. Next, we are going to do your regular hip thrust, both feet on the ground. When you come up with your hips, make sure you're squeezing your glutes as you lift your hips to the ceiling. Make sure you're leading with your heels. You see I lifted my toes up just so I can concentrate on my hamstrings and my glutes. Next, what we're going to do is what's called a frog pump. You're going to spread your knees to the side. I know it's awkward, but this is going to hit your glute minimus, so that little top shelf of the booty. Very important to hit all the angles and all the muscles of your glute. Okay, now we are going to get on all fours, placing the towel under our knees for support. Make sure your back is flat. We're going to stretch out one leg and lift straight to the ceiling, leading with our heels. When we get to 15, we are going to hold and pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Next, we're going to do donkey kicks. Bend your knee and lead with your heel. Push all the way up to the ceiling. Don't forget.
forget to keep your tummy tight. And hold, pulse, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And give yourself a nice little pat on the butt because you're doing such a good job. And now it's time to switch legs. Straight leg first, leading with your heel all the way up to the ceiling. Don't forget when you get to 15, we're gonna pulse for 15 more. And make sure to keep your tummy tight, belly button to spine. Don't let your belly sag during this move. And now we are going to do the donkey kicks. Bend your knee and lead with your heel, pushing to the ceiling. and pulse and don't forget to give yourself a nice little pat on the booty you can take a moment to sit back on your heels and stretch your glutes this next move is called a rainbow you're going to take your left leg and you're going to stretch it out to the side while crossing over your bent leg. It's like you're tracing a rainbow. We're gonna do 10 of these on each side. Time for the right leg, stretch it out to the side, cross up and over, trace that rainbow. can sit back on your heels again and give your glutes a nice stretch. Now we are going to do fire hydrants. Start with your left leg, lift it to the side. We're gonna pause and pulse. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now the other side. going to pause and pulse. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
and give yourself a nice glute stretch. This next move is going to be quite challenging. We're gonna use the towel to do leg curls. Give them a try. Slide your heels out, keep your butt up, and curl them in. This is an excellent hamstring move to do at home. Next, you're gonna grab your chair. We're gonna place our heels safely on the seat and lift our butts. We're gonna do an elevated hip thrust here. Make sure to keep your tummy tight, belly button to spine. Squeeze those glutes on the way up. Feel it in your booty. If you want to challenge yourself, you can do a single leg elevated hip thrust. I would suggest having the chair planted against a wall. As you can see, the chair was moving, which made it that much more difficult. Next, we're going to do sumo squats, so wide stance. You're going to go straight down, sitting back on your butt and your heels. So I switch positions, you can see how I sit back and keep my weight on my heels, tucking my butt in and squeezing the glutes as I come up. Challenging yourself to touch the floor is also good as well, going below parallel to really dig into those glutes. Also, you can see how I'm looking at the floor here. We just want to be careful of that. Try and keep your chest up and out. You can see I correct myself when I'm squatting. We don't want you bent over, leaning on your knees. Next, we're going to do curtsy lunges. So we're gonna take our right leg, cross it behind the back, and lunge. We're gonna stay on one leg, 10 on each side. Make sure you're sitting back on that heel. Now it's time for the other side. Cross back behind you, sitting back on that heel. Tummy tucked in tight, don't forget. Next, we're gonna do a side lunge and we're gonna get our foot up off the floor. Once you get a little bit of momentum, you'll be able to get your knee up higher. Really good for the adductors and your inner thigh. It's time to switch sides because we don't want lopsided booties.
Next, we're gonna do a narrow squat with a leg lift to the side. switch sides showing you that whenever I do my side kick that my leg is still a little bit bent so you're not straightening out your leg it's just a quick little fire hydrant And now we're going to do something similar, narrow squat with a back kick. Switch sides. And you are done, my friends. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this video helps you out, especially whenever we're all kind of confined to our houses right now. So hopefully this video is easy to follow. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment box. Like, share, and subscribe if this helped you at all. And stay tuned for some more videos because I'll be doing some more at-home workouts for you during this time. See ya.